Hello again and welcome back to Terraria. Um, basically the same since we left off. Um, I haven't gone back yet. Um, so my inventory is pretty much full. Um, I did do a little bit of looking things up though. Um, so the, vo the voodoo doll, for example, for the clother, summons Skeletron. Um, it's a rare drop. It doesn't even have to be in hard mode. Um, not sure if I agree with that personally. Like Skeletron's not like farming Skeletron's pretty much something I did in Easy Worlds. Just go to him, kill him a couple of times. Um, although now that they have the trophy, so you get a tr there's every boss has a trophy they can drop. I can kind of see it. Um, there's he also apparently has a spell that I didn't get, but I have a, just as much chance of getting that if I go to a farm world and kill him as I do resummoning him. In order to resummon him, you have to destroy the voodoo doll in lava, the same as with the wall of flesh. Um, but since I only have one of them, I'm not going to be doing that right now. Um, give me a minute to go through here. Uh, one thing I also need to do is um, get ice armor, which would require being in snow during a blizzard um, on in hard mode. Uh, there's also a chance that it will happen during a blood moon, but the blizzard's supposed to be the best way to get it to happen. Um, If you've noticed the first couple, like the first couple of episodes, there was this really bad rainstorm going on. Um, that's called like if it's hard rain in normal in the snow biome, it will be blizzard. Um, so yeah, like I, I've been close. I just I wasn't in hardcore mode yet, and even if I would have been, I probably wouldn't have had enough gear to be able to take them on. So let's see here. So I'm skipping all those fights. One worrying thing about having above ground mushrooms is the same mushroom spawns that happen below ground happen above ground, which includes those launchers that have a that really enjoy beating me up. Let's see here. Put that there. Okay, bone wings. Okay, they're wings, so they're they don't really have anything special. They're just bony. Um, look nice, but nothing really all that special. Again, quick stack. Try to make up some room. Um, put th everything up. Give me a few seconds to. Okay, at least now I got some room. Not exactly sure why I kept this, but... Also another thing is, if you notice, like, it's daytime, I think. Like, it's near evening, but it's daytime. Second you get here, it's basically as if it was nighttime. So... It's an awkward thing that I've noticed. Okay, got a black belt, so just throw those in there. I need to go over here and summon some Master Ninja Gear. Okay, Master Ninja Gear. Of course, the same, but I also have a chance to dash. See how dashing works when I'm already running. Okay, dashing seems to turn off running if it activates, but I guess it's really useful for dodging. You can only dodge once every couple of seconds though. As you can see, can't just keep dodging. 
Now let's see about falling. Okay, you can dodge multiple times while falling. Uh, I'm not gonna even check and see if that mitigates damage or what. Up. Okay, we gotta let's just put a tabby. That's the way we have one. Um, gotta put this up as well. Hey, how much soul do I have? It's probably just gonna be cheaper for me to build a new Spectre Act instead of dealing with that. Um, yeah, it looks like this is pretty much all just stuff to sell now. So, go ahead and sell it. You. Get back to my, soul, my gold. Um, I'm going to leave the bones there. I pick those up with such frequency. It's not really a big deal to lose a couple. Uh, and this, this ham axe is actually better. It's... Well, it's not better, but it's not not bad. It's average. I can sell souls pretty well, too, so... They're not bad to go farming for, apparently. Where did I hide my gold? Oh, that gold is full. That would explain why I can't just throw stuff in there. Um... Let's see here. There's the clother. He doesn't sell anything new. I have a doll that allows me to kill him, and he's, he's like, no, 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 we're good. Um. I have enough turtle shells to build turtle armor. Um, the turtle armor pretty much gives me 100% thorns. Like, in general, it gives me 100% thorns. So, every time someone hits me, they take damage. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put that there. Uh, that's dangerous. This one's only forceful. I'm gonna take dan keep dangerous. Um, I'm gonna put him in here. No, we're gonna keep him in here. At least until I get more of them. Um, yeah. Shop and sell those. I'm just gonna keep my spelunking potions around. And set a point. Okay, um. I'm gonna head over towards the dungeon now, or the jungle now. That actually might be useful. We'll see. Um, don't have anything here. So just keep going. It's a little bit weird, but a little bit of getting used to it, it might have some benefits. Let's see, how far is that out? That's well, not bad. I'm just going to drop it, though. Now, 
as I was saying, I did create all the way over here. I actually probably should have picked up a magic ball. But so what I was planning on doing is just kind of building a elevator. It's a thing right about here. One thing I'm kind of hoping is maybe I can figure out a way to force the rain. If I can figure out a way to force the rain to come, it will help with my getting the frost armor. there. What are you messing with me? As you can see, I'm building this basically the same as I built my previous elevator. Being uh, Trying to be a little bit careful about, um, well, monsters, water, and lava. Because dying, not very good. Also, uh, note that digging down is a lot preferential to digging up. So although it does take a little more time, um, going to the, your map and like kind of just trying to guesstimate about where you think will take you where you want to go will save you a lot more time in the long run than actually like trying to force get or force going up instead of coming down. Uh, this is chlorophyte. If you look on the map, it's kind of just a green lump. It's a little bit tricky to find and it only spawns during hard mode. I'm not exactly sure what causes it to spawn though. Um, I don't know if it just, hey it's hard mode, now it spawns, or if it's beating bosses or what. Um, But of course, as with all other hard mode ores, at least while you're trying to gear up, um, finding them is difficult, and as soon as you find them, you want to mine them. But pretty much once you get the armor, once you get the gear you need out of it, you really don't have to worry about it. Um, as I've shown, I've, there have been a lot of ores, like patches, that I know where are that I haven't gotten simply because I don't have a reason to at this stage. I mean, I still mind a little bit of titanium from time to time just because of what level of uh, metal it is, but... Let me put some torches up through here for a minute. Okay, there we go. 
again, just like with the elevator, it's always good to test your elevator while making it, especially if you have a way to survive the bottom. Um, having wings or a horseshoe makes it a lot easier to survive, so testing. You, you all. I'm suggesting putting torches. I didn't put torches in my other elevator. Um, there was no real particular reason. I just didn't really want to waste time putting torches. And because... Well, actually there is kind of a reason. Because wood in this world is a lot harder to come by than it used to be. Um, you have so many different types of wood. And the jungle wood, which as I've stated before, was used to be my primary like wood source. Because I could just... I don't have to worry about farming it and planting it. I just have to worry about cutting it down. Well, since they pretty much destroyed that, um, I can't really farm wood as well. So, I don't have large plethoras of wood just sitting there waiting to be uh, misbegotten. Allow me to kind of cut through this a little bit. There we go. Okay. Of course, while making a elevator, if you run into a point, like, try to lock off the water. I didn't. But if you run into a point where there's a lot of water, uh, running it off to the side is not a bad idea. need to, taking a step out to breathe, also not a bad idea. Although, if you can, it'd be more preferable in, compared to stepping out to breathe to sometimes dig small outlets. Um. Go away. I'm dizzy. Okay, let's fall back down, drop a couple of those, try to get some health. Okay, luckily enough, since I do have a much better pickaxe, digging isn't exactly a bother anymore. It is still a bit of a chore, but it's not such a huge ordeal. as where previously I was having to knock out a couple of layers at a time and then stop. I can just kind of pound through this all. Um, okay, that one's safe. Uh, one thing about Chlorophyte is you, in order to build armor from it, or you're going to need to build two sets of armor from it, so even if you don't need any of the weapons, again, you'll, you're going to need two sets of armor. So you're going to need lots of it. Um, let's see here. Ooh, cloud in a bottle. Not bad. Not something I particularly need, but not a bad find. And also, don't be afraid to make side trips so you can loot. Um, I'm not doing that 
because I don't need to. As you saw, I, I've done enough farming for gold. I have roughly about um, 20 uh, platinum. So that's a bit of money there. But like, if you if, you're, if you don't have enough money that you, you think you might need more, then feel free to continue farming for gold. You can never have enough money in this game. Um, even when you get to the point, like, just happen to buy ammu ammunition, if you're a ranged character, it's expensive. It gets expensive fast. Um, I think I'm about to drown. Give me a second to breathe. Okay, yeah. Um, buying ammunition for a um, range character, upgrading your if you stay melee or magic, you're gonna need you're still gonna need to upgrade your weapons, reforging them, which isn't exactly cheap. This right here is a pl uh, pl Antra bulb, bulb. Um, plant Terra, sorry. Um, she's why we're building this. Um, I'm kind of wanting to see if I'm if I'm able to beat her, but a little bit worried about it as well. But hey. I'm on stream. Let's see here. Try to get up some health. Um, in my opinion, I think they need to fix the uh, graphic of having over 400 health. As you can see, it is kind of a stuck graphic. Um, let's see here. That's my tunnel. So let's try. Gotta kill that. Gonna wait till she comes at me a little bit. There we go. As you can see, it's shooting at me. Trying to outrun it. One of the reasons why you want to put up what? Did I just kill it? Um, maybe I just ran away too fast or something. <sighs> I have no clue. Maybe that strategy actually doesn't pan out. Hmm. Well, I guess maybe I'll have to actually just fight her the old-fashioned way. Um, which I'm not looking forward to. Um, do note that some of the strategies, like from the wikis and stuff, will not work because they're being, they're not being tested. They're being like, hey, we think this is how it works, or. Hey, I was lucky enough that this happened. Um, yeah, because as you can see, I didn't really... What just hit me? I didn't really get anything specifically. She Like, she normally would drop the jun jungle key and some other things. I didn't get any of those, so yeah, I definitely didn't kill her. I guess I just pissed her off. Whoops, now I'm out of torches.
this is a big thing whenever you're making a uh, whenever you're lighting up your elevators make sure you have enough torches running out of torches doesn't really do like it makes it dark and it's really easy to run out of torches without realizing it especially on large worlds if you're on a small world it's a lot easier to subvert it but yeah anyway back to what we were One thing is you notice, the fish know I'm here. Uh, it's an, one thing you need to worry about if you're uh, building in water. Um, fish will know you're there. So if you come into an area that contacts to more water, you could end up getting attacked or swarmed by fish. Which doesn't always happen, but it is something you need to worry about. Okay there. Quick sec when I can. Now, of course, I'm not going all the way down. Um, ooh, sweet. Hey, you. If you can manage to shoot through single uh, blocks like that, it is very useful because, well, you kill things with it. But if you can't, that's fine. Okay, I'm just going to go through here. Said loot. Actually, I probably click that. I'm a little bit worried about that plant right there, or that chest right there. It doesn't look real. Uh, the reason I'm saying that is because it's not sitting on a um, platform. Like it's not sitting both, like both blocks on a platform. Um, now it could be real. I have seen them like that before. It is, but it is unlikely. Um, another way you can really tell if they're fake, well, obviously shooting at them, but is. Um, if they're on a platform you built but you didn't put them there. Um, see, there's a plantera bulb. I picked up a life fruit though, so gave me. I didn't actually notice the plantera bulb um, until I picked it up, so I didn't get to show you where it was. But the plantera bulb is basically just a plant. Or not the plantera bulb. The life hearts are basically just plants. They just kind of sit there as plants. Um, uh, give me a second to stretch out. I'm trying to get myself a little bit prepped. Let's try this again. Okay, where is she coming from?
Okay, she got lots of health. Actually, probably a very bad place to fight her. Um, you don't want to run from her because of how deep she spawns. There's a very... Screw you. Screw you game. Uh, just activate a blood moon, which means that if I die, I'm going to be screwed. If I don't die, um, well, there's an increased chance of spawning for just about everything. Okay. I'm... I seem to be handling her pretty well. Um, trying to dodge everything she's throwing at me. Seems to be working. Um, except she keeps, she's now starting to throw these spike balls at me. Which seem to be bouncing. And that, I'm not liking that. I completely forgot to pick up some buffs. Gonna try running a little bit. At least try to take her to my elevator. Um, be warned, you should at not attempt to ever multi spawn a uh, boss. It will almost universally all be like always kill you. Um, actually, it might always kill you. Yeah, I couldn't get out of there. There was water. I completely forgot that it was water. Anyway, that's Plantera. Plantera is a bitch. Um, but I do need to... I didn't go against her with buffs. I actually might have been able to take her if I had some buffs. So, what I'm going to do here... I'm actually just going to go running to my blizzard. Um, I'm also going to run to my nurse because she can heal me. She's right about here. Oh, sweet, I'm even higher than her. Okay, so she can heal me pretty cheaply. And I can fall. Okay, I'm going to be going to the... Um, um, well, it's still the blood moon. And it's raining. It's not heavy rain, but it's rain. I'm going to the um, snow so that I can hopefully find a snow giant, or a frost giant, so I can steal the stuff his drops. Um, there we are. Yes, I, got, I killed him. Um, and he dropped a helmet and a feather. Sweet. Uh, feathers are actually very rare drops for them. Um, they have a 100% chance to drop a suit of armor, or a piece of the armor. Um, but they only drop one piece of armor. Um, the feather is extremely rare drop. Um, I say that, and I'm probably, like, the next one probably drops the feather as well, because... The game likes to make me look stupid. Um, let's see here. Could go up in here and see if this helps. Let's see. I'm not seeing any. It's still snowing though, so. Okay, that's the end of the snow. Um, one thing, um, ooh, that's not good. Well, it's kind of good, but my inventory's full. One thing that I have noticed, um, there are a few things that, like, I, I'm gonna need to go to, um, other worlds to build. Um, there's this item called Ambrosia, which is kind of the equivalent of a Cursed Flame from this world. Or, it's the Crimson's equivalent to the, to the Corruption's Cursed Flames. Um... 
but supposedly, like, it's a magic weapon, but it also lowers, like, the enemy's magic defense or whatever, so it's supposed to be a very useful weapon against people if you're a magic user. So, well, we'll have to see about that. Come on, go over there. And he drops another feather. Go figure. Um, let's see here. Cobweb, and then we'll swap out cobweb with seeds. Um, I have two helmets, actually. The helmets are melee and range. Makes them somewhat useful. Um, Sadly, you can't actually cro craft frosted armor. The only way to get it is to win it in fights. Although, one thing that might be useful for this would be to... Uh, change an entire biome into, um, let's see here, actually I can do that. To change an entire biome into snow might help me increase the odds, just simply because uh, more snow means there's more areas that they can spawn in, which means there's more chances they can spawn. Um, Eskimo pants. I've never gotten Eskimo pants. Um, I'm gonna kill this guy just because I can. Uh, killing the clown should allow me to get some clown clothes. Um, there might be some other things to it. Um. No, I'm not finding any other giants. That's sad. I actually probably should be checking down, like out down in places like that, but... Huh. It's rare for there to be more than one clown. Um, the, the ice giants, like, apparently the ice giants not programmed for complete, um, like, they can spawn underground, but apparently nobody's seen it, so... Like, they're not programmed to not be spawned underground, they just so far haven't been. But at the same time, they are a very rare spawn. Um, pretty much the only way to reliably get, get one is during either a blood moon or during the blizzard. Since the blood moon's over, I'm gonna head back to my house. Now, one thing I'm not sure about the with the plantro bulbs is I don't know if they're permanent. Like, it's actually one thing I'm a little bit worried about that I just broke two of them, and I don't know how many there are. 
like, I don't know if they respawn or what. So that does worry me a little bit. But... Let's just throw some stuff away. They have Eskimo stuff somewhere. Well, there's an Eskimo shirt. I'm sure, I have an Eskimo hat somewhere. Let's see. Let's put the Eskimo pants there. Hmm. Let's go ahead and put one of the ice feathers there, too. Um, don't need them, but might as well. There's another Eskimo shirt. Did I sell off my Eskimo heads without in, instead of my shirt? That's a little disheartening. Oh, there's my head. Just worrying myself there for a minute. Now let's see here. Um, mud. We're good on mud. Stone. Iron. Okay, doesn't didn't I have iron here? Huh, apparently not. Let's check this again. Huh. I'm gonna get out iron, some more iron ore, actually. And make some bars, because iron is useful. In that it is iron. Um, let's see here. Gonna get a couple of souls of flight. Gonna make me some frozen wings. Okay, frozen wings. Uh, they have a slight sparkle. So, what's on them? Hmm, nah, we're gonna keep the speed. And let's see. Frost Helm. Um, Frost is... Give me a second to check this real quick. Um, hollowed Chlorophyll Turtle Shroom Frost. So, one, two, three mannequins. Well, poop, that means I gotta make more. Second, get some wood. One awkward thing: apparently, uh, mushroom trees—they don't drop wood, of course, because they're mushrooms. But they do apparently sometimes drop acorns. Found that out yesterday, awkwardly enough. Um, I could have like just picked up the acorn from like another drop or something, but I'm like I'm pretty sure it was from the. Mushroom. Now, one reason I'm using my um, hookshot movement is because it does get rid of the vines. Uh, the vines at the bottom aren't exactly a big deal, but they are sometimes annoying. Like, they're not big enough of a deal to actually waste time going after them if you don't have something, if you have something better to do. But getting rid of them doesn't hurt either. So, let's see. We needed 
One, two, so three, four minimum? One moment, I'm checking that again. So we have hollow, then chlorophyte, turtle, shroomite, so that's three. And four and five. Okay. So that's three, and I have three more. Okay, I did that right. Come on. One more. And we're gonna have to go ahead and put that there. To make this rich mahogany room. Can I do that? No. Okay. That way at least looks nice. Um, okay, so it was three, so turtle, or green, yellow, blue, white, like then white. Also, one thing I can do is put, actually, I'm just going to put mine. I can rebuild it, so I'm going to put mine there. Um, I believe this is all of the armors. Uh, of course, I don't have these ones. And I don't have my shirt for my mining. But still, close enough, right? So, pants, robe, shirt, equip, all. There we go. Um, put my soles up. And sell. Don't need these. Um, silk goes into the extractor. Yeah, oceans go into the... Yep, there we go. I'm gonna get out a couple more gold. And buy a magic... Shopping for magic crystal balls. Hmm, apparently I didn't need it. Um, as you can see here, here's an ice rod. Ice rod allows me to summon a magic block of ice. Um, the bell and the harp are used to create items of magic. So I'll probably be doing those at some point, uh, though not right now. So let's go ahead and go back to the jungle. Go back to the real jungle. Another thing I've kind of been guilty of is, um, or is in some of my other worlds, I have been strip mining wood. Um, just because it seems to be the easiest way to get around with it. Um, and because it's wood. I mean, nobody really cares too much about the wood.
Whew. Okay. Um, not gonna fight Plantera right now. Actually, what I'm going, one thing I'm gonna do. That's been bugging me because I keep bouncing on it. I'm gonna level out that pond. It's weird, you can step one or two blocks up, no problem, but if it's a liquid, you fall through. Hmm. As you can see, it is kind of a long drop. Probably wasn't the first darkness. But... Okay. Now this is where we had our problem last time. So let's keep going down. See what we can do. Luckily enough, I was about to drown and I found this ore that I wanted. I'm really saying, y'all people are lucky. I have to keep y'all around more often. Okay, as you can see, my house is now under water. And that's a problem. that there. Now, easy way to get rid of that. Probably the simplest way is to find a way to get rid of the water. Uh, that can be done a number of ways. And hell, I could just turn myrrh, but I really don't want to. It's not right at the moment. Let's see here. What are my options? Oh, my lava. So, here's the big option. Destroy the water. Now the easiest way to do that is build is mine into lava. Now obviously this isn't gonna work completely, but hopefully it'll be enough to disrupt enough of the lava to make progress. As you can see, um, I keep I every once in a while when I get hit I'm bubbling, like kind of smoke clouding. That's dodging using this item. Okay, so now we have that. Which will trickle down slowly but not fast enough. going to need is something more of a that's less of a surgical strike and more of a napalm bomb. Okay, actually I'm going to stop being stupid for a minute. 
I'm going to go up here and cap some of this off. So this is just way too much water. Okay, by doing this we just basically halved the amount of water we have to deal with. Actually, probably a much smaller fraction than that. Um, we could continue to subdivide that a little bit more by doing things like this. Just kind of build out and then dig down a bit. But those do run risks. This is another problem with the elevators in water idea. Um, there is a chance that you could completely screw up the area you're going to. Um, if you're building an actual elevator, going to hell, not much of a problem because hell is hot and destroys water. Jungle, not quite as hot as you can see. So, what I'm going to do, first off I'm going to breathe, because breathing is important, despite what anybody says. Got an archaeologist hat, sweet. I'm going to continue to dig down, actually. Because, as I was saying, if I can get this to hell, then, well, plain and simple, I don't got to worry about it anymore. It'll take time, but it will drain. Now what I'm going to do, actually since I found this nice little ore, I'm going to get this ore first. But what I'm going to do is skip this block right here. Because as you can see, this is a pretty nice roadblock for the water. And hey, there's even some lava down here. Hmm. Huh. Get this a bit. I do know that the tr the lava is or the water is traveling along the um, pyramid, like the underground temple pyramid thing. So, if we want to clear it out, we need to create a path along there. This is what the hearts look like inside plant form, and you just eat it as such. And it gives you five more health, yay! Okay. And then we moved on. This is one of the risks of, as you saw before, the, the elevators, is that you can run into lava, and without the proper, well, without the ability to get rid of them properly, it is a, it is a bug to get through them. have that and it shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. So again we're gonna get up close. We're gonna get close to the or we're gonna get to the pyramid like as seen. And we're gonna get close to the lava. We can't mine through this block luckily enough. So we're gonna get up here, we're gonna cut through that. 
Got to get a nice little area that's big enough that when we'll walk, we're going through the water, we can just cut the water through. If you're going to place a torch, um, if you don't mind losing it, that's fine. Uh, like where that one is, is fine. But if you want to keep it, it's safer to put it on the out or on the inside of water or inside of water on the inside of a block so that you can retain it. Okay. Now, give me a second. I'm going to check my map. Hell level isn't that much further, but this is a lot of lava, and this should be enough space to get rid of all this, all that water. So we're going to do this instead. Now, of course, draining times will vary, so, and hopefully you won't have to do something stupid like this, but if you do, this is out. <sighs> yes, deep sides are required. Okay, so, as I said before, we were keeping this until we found a place to put the water. We now have a place. You want to open this up decently wide so that when the water starts flowing it's not just a singular trickle and it actually moves at a decent rate. Again, you want to stay diligent with it, so you, like that. You don't want the water going where you don't want it to, and the water will. Now that's basically where we want the water to go eventually, but... Holy hell, that was scary. Um, luckily enough, little bit of lava immunity. <laughs> Saved my ass there. But as you saw, the water was just moving so fast I couldn't stop it. question is, do we need to continue going further? I'm going to go ahead and take out all this obsidian so that the water actually has to fill up here again. Again, just like with the water, that those small ripples in the water make it almost Im make your uh, water walking boots useless.
again, it takes it's going to take a little while to for the water to settle. One thing you can do to quicken the settle is to leave and come back. Um, one of the loading preprints or one of the loading things is settling water or settling liquids and this is exactly what it means. Um, so the water's moving through there. And sadly enough, it's not moving very fast. As you can see, the water is really deep, so it's going to take a while. One way you can quicken it, again, opening it up bigger, or opening it bigger. Um, the more water that can travel through it at once, the faster water is going to travel through it. It's just, that's basic everything. Whew. Um, just going to allow that. might not seem like it, but every single block that's in the way is slowing that sl will slow this down. So every single block you can take out will speed it up. The problem with that is sometimes, well, you get stuff like that where opening up a block. Sometimes you get stuff like this where the waters move so fast it just freezes. Um, it's actually not a bad thing when that happens because Basically, it means Terraria is just like, you know what, fuck you, and just does all the figuring on where the where the liquid needs to be. Um, but, as you saw there, pretty much a full halt until it settled. Um, if I come down here, so you can see now the water's all down here. So this place that earlier was perfectly fine above water, now almost completely below water. Also, I'm really hoping I set my spawn point. No, I didn't. Um, my little jungle house should also be fine. Um, since I'm down here, I'm going to go ahead and put everything up again. And since that took a while, Took a much longer while than I wanted it to. I'm gonna go ahead and call it for now. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple of bars first, though. Um, take six bars of pop, and as you can see here, I can make. I can make just about everything, I think. Yeah, I can make everything. I just can't make all of everything. Um, the axe has more axe power. Or, same axe power, actually. Sorry, never mind. Plus one range. Um, hammer. Short bow. Oh, shot bow. Um, I'm really hoping that means what I think it means. Um, kind of like a shot, shotgun of arrows. Um, some of the uh, other things are repeaters, which is kind of like a, um, well, it's a crossbow, plain and simple. Uh, you have the saber and the claymore. I think the saber is a short sword, um, but all of these, like, they shoot out orbs and clouds and things like that. 
which give them some nice little yeah it gives us a nice little bit of a well gives it some credit I can't think of what I'm wanting to say it gives it some flair um, if you look up here chlorophyll this is a mul multiple armor so uh, increases defense critical strike movement increases defense critical strike defense and then whichever one of these uh, consume ammo um, melee damage and magic damage um, another thing they also do kind of a big little up is well it if you get the full set it will give you it I think it summons a um, like guardian for you like it doesn't take damage but it will deal damage type guardian that well will deal damage to people who attack you so seems nice if you're into that kind of thing Okay, just gonna throw away all my stuff again. The reason I keep taking my Spelunker potion down there. Sorry, one second. Sorry about that. Wasn't expecting a side fall. Um. Yeah, the reason you take your Spelunker potions down there are so that you can try to find the chlorophyte a little better. Um, I'll show you that next time. Um, getting a Skype call, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this recording. So. That and it's been going on for over an hour, so have